What's going on everyone? This is Tucker Jobs Gaming and the tactic behind me that way is uh, Ozturk's amazing complete forward tactic. Now I'm doing this because Oz Ozturk himself actually uh, contacted me on one of my previous videos asking me to do a test video on, on this one. So uh, yeah, I was pretty chuffed about that because the I've done a previous tactic of his which was the Albatross which I use in my personal games. So yeah, I was well happy to do it and uh, here it is. Stay tuned for the instructions. Right, so here is the tactic. Amazing complete forward by, I'm hoping I'm saying this right, is it Beryl? Beryl Ozturk or Beryl Ozturk? And uh, yeah, I'm trying it out on Tottenham, Bournemouth, Bolton because someone wanted to see how a tactic test would do on a team like Bolton, who will have minus 12 points. And uh, Portugal, SLB, and Turkey, Fenerbahce. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get on with it then. So, this is the tactic, 4-4-1-1, which is, I, I enjoy these kind of formations, and uh, I think they work pretty well. Uh, so, let's get on with the individual instructions then. So, complete forward, attacking midfielder, Winger left, winger right, advanced playmaker, deep line playmaker, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball playing defender, and ball playing defender right, and sweeper keeper. Set piece instructions, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right. Free kick instructions, defending right and left. Uh, small chance shot, defending left and right. Wide, defending right and left. And deep, defending left and right. So attacking direct corners, right and left. Small, uh, small chance shot, left and right. Wide, right and left. Deep, left and right. And finally, the throwing instructions, defending right and defending left. And attacking left. And attacking right. So back to the tactic then. It's a Gagan press. There's a, a lot of tactics are Gagan press. Uh, there is some t uh, comments on my videos where they want different ones. So I apologise that I'm showing another Gagan press. Um, so yeah, it's a positive mentality, which is nice to see. A lot of tactics that do well always seem to be attacking. So it's nice to have a bit of a positive uh, one. So it gives you a bit of um, room during the game time to drop it down to to. Uh, balanced if you need to defend a little bit you are already a slightly more defensive than attacking you're not leaving your players open as much. Uh, and yeah and if you need to obviously win the game get a goal or something like that you can always switch it up to attacking without going to obviously very attacking which is last resort in my case um in possession wide attacking width passing space overlapping left and right and play out defense standard passing directness with a higher tempo Work ball into box and run at the defence. In transition, counter press and counter. Uh, your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute them to your centre-backs. Um, and out of possession, use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, higher defensive line, standard uh, defensive width, use tight marking, extremely urgent press intensity, prevent short goalkeeper distribution and get stuck in. So this is the proposed best 11 for Tottenham. Teams, uh, players will change, obviously. There's injuries and so forth. Uh, so yeah, th those players aren't obviously going to be starting the season. Uh, then we'll go to Bournemouth. And then Bolton. SLB. And finally, Benabarchi. So that is all the teams. So how many? One, two, three, four, five team tests, which means we won't be having a middle section. I'll be going straight to the end of the season, see how we do. Hopefully you uh, carry on watching everyone and uh, I'll see you at the end of the season. Right, welcome back. So let's start off then in the Premier League with Tottenham and Bournemouth. And Tottenham ended up winning the Premier League, which is absolutely fantastic. It's always nice to see a team that's not Liverpool or Man City win. Uh, 29 wins, 5 draws, 4 losses, uh, 55 goal difference and 92 points. Get in there. So Harry Kane finished second on goals with 24. Sanchez, the centre-back, was uh, third 
with average rating 7.52. Harry Wilson for Bournemouth on the assists, third place with 13. Harry Kane, second place, seven player of the matches. And Loris, the clean sheets for the goalkeeper for Tottenham. Uh, and third place and uh, yeah Bournemouth players in the yellow card so Bournemouth didn't do great uh, they are predicted 14th so it is an improvement but I've definitely definitely had tactics that have worked out a lot better for Bournemouth don't get me wrong it's only one test all right the chance of me doing this again and Bournemouth finishing higher is very very likely of course Bournemouth for me are a very underrated team uh, people don't give them enough credit and they've got a great striker in no doubt that he will do fantastic in some other tests. Obviously, if you play by human play as well, that's always a factor that can always bring more positive results. It can also bring in worse results, but chances are you could probably get Bournemouth a little bit higher. But Tottenham did it just right, and they were absolutely brilliant. So let's have a look at the competitions for Tottenham then. So they were runner-up in the FA Cup, lost out in the final against Liverpool in extra time, 2-1. Uh, Carabao Cup went out in the fourth round against Manchester United, lost that on penalties as well. And in the Champions League, we got all the way to the quarters, but lost to Man City 4-1 over both games. So that's a shame. They didn't win any Cups, but they did win the league. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. they won the league. Awesome. It would have been nice to win a cup, wouldn't it? Just to add it on, just to add a double there somewhere. Uh, so yeah, they did. Pretty obviously, they did all right. They they won. They won the league. So yeah, sometimes I've sometimes have tactics where I've struggled with um, Tottenham. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's Deli Ali as well. What really frustrates me. I can never get him to perform well. Um, so let's have a look at anyway some of the results. So against some of the big teams, there. Man City won. Uh, sorry, Drew uh, one all. Uh, at Bayern Munich, you beat them 1-0. Uh, they're like Liverpool, you lost against. Manchester United, you lost. Obviously, we know that. But in the league, you beat Man U 1-0. Uh, any other big teams? Arsenal 2-0, decent. Liverpool drew 2 all against them. Chelsea 3-0. Um, let's be a look. PSG 3-0. Big win, that is. Man City in the FA Cup quarterfinal 3-0. Uh, let's have a look. Liverpool at the end of the season, obviously in the cup, we know we lost. Man City again 2-0. So yeah, you're picking up some decent wins again. Uh, Tottenham are expected to pick up decent wins though. They are a top four team. I think they are predicted fourth, I believe. If I believe they are predicted fourth. Yeah, so it's expected that they're going to win quite a lot of games. They only lost four in the league, which is absolutely fantastic, as you can see here. And yeah, there's nothing really to moan about really. You've won the league. It's a shame about the cups. Maybe it would have been nice to win one, but... Don't always work out that way and realistically you kind of focus on the league i think that you want to focus if you are a top team like tottenham it's all about the league and champions league uh, so the other cups i don't think matter too much um but yeah you didn't you didn't win the champions league shame just build you've won the league get some money get some reputation get some better players and you'll win it next season definitely uh, let's have a look at the squad then so your best player we already know is your center back uh, Sanchez 8 and 2 as well 8 goals 2 assists Harry Kane with the 31 goals and 8 yes I know I have had tactics where he has scored that definitely um, but you still did pretty well for the Premier League that's quite a lot of goals 20 24 24 24 in the league that's pretty good going and then you've got obviously Sessegnon only played 5 games Harry Winks did good 6 and 8 uh, Mora, 9 and 11. Some of the bigger creators. Son, Hugh and Min, 11. Uh, again, down here, Ben Davies, your uh, left back, did pretty well, 3 and 7. So they're not outstanding. Be great. There is tactics out there. Obviously, you know them. There is nap tactics as well. Uh, and they bring out some overpowering results and assists with like 20 and 19. 20 goals and 19 for wingers and stuff like that. But I think this one's nice, nicely realistic. A lot of people ask for tactics that aren't nap tactics because they enjoy using other ones apart from them. I'm not saying that they're bad. I like, I enjoy using nap tactics. I enjoy using these kind of tactics as well. So, yeah, they did pretty well. Let's have a look at the tactic analysis then. So, goals 109 and 43. But that is in the total matches of 50. You definitely played more than 50 goals. Someone did bring this up to me in one of the comments saying you've played more. So the chances are you've conceded more, but you've also scored more, definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a rough estimate. You have definitely scored more and have conceded more uh, than that. But in the league, 
domestic league matches, 76 scored and only 24 conceded. I think that's pretty good. Definitely pretty good in the total matches of 32. So obviously I can't show you any more. But 32 league matches, even though you play more than 32 league matches. So again, you would have scored more. You would have uh, conceded more as well. So yeah, I'm just pointing that out to you. Uh, goal types then. Play shots, 63 powerful shots, 15. One curled shot, 23 headers. Decent going. And uh, six penalties, goal assists, 15. So 25 have come from corners and free kicks. Uh, none from the long throws. Uh, and the rest of them are all from open play. So, yeah, nice one. Uh, let's go then to, well, there's the goal locations. And assist locations. So next up then, Bournemouth. We already know that the finished 10th wasn't great. There's tactics out there that have done better. But no doubt if I did this test again and again and again, which I don't do, um, you could probably finish higher, definitely. There's no reason why not. Uh, competitions. FA Cup knocked out in the fifth round by Chelsea. And the Carabao Cup knocked out in the semi-finals by Manchester United. Let's have a look at some of the schedules. And how did the heads-to-heads go against Tottenham? So at the end of the season, uh, it was a one all draw. And near the start of the season, Bournemouth actually beat Tottenham 1-0. So, yeah, Tottenham could have actually uh, ended up with more points there. I don't. Sometimes it's all right doing two two teams in in the same league, but someone also again pointed out that it could go against each other when you're trying to do a nice tactics test. That you've got another team beating them and and kind of ruining the results. Uh, I thought about maybe in the future if if everyone agrees with this somehow uh, doing a versus tactic. I don't know if that, if it has been done before. Um, but then picking two really good tactics that I've done really well, or two tactics that you lot are recommending to me, and uh, I put them on two teams that are very similar, obviously Liverpool, Man City, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. Uh, two underdogs that are the same, uh, that are predicted to finish last and second to last, like a uh, Sheffield United and a Norwich, something like that. Two tactics, in a way, head-to-head, -head, see which one actually does better. Yeah, might be a thought, might be a future uh, video series there. Uh, but anyway, back to the video. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, decent results. Manchester United, you beat them. Uh, lost against Man City. Arsenal, 3-2. Good result against Arsenal. Lost against Liverpool, obviously. The two good. Uh, Wolves, 1-0. Not a bad result. Uh, Watford, Man U, Chelsea, 0-0. Decent. Uh, let's have a look at your squad then, anyway. So, not a lot of players in, in the green there on the average ratings. So they didn't actually do very well as a team your best player only played a 7.19 and uh, that was steve cook 10 goals one assist and that was your center back was your best player that's saying something uh, then you got nathan aki six and five your other center back was your second to best player uh callum wilson 18 and 6 harry wilson 10 and 16 so that's pretty good going for an attacking center i'm happy with those stats 10 and 16 i'll be chuffed i can't believe he's only got 7.09 uh, i would have definitely thought he would have more than that uh, then you've got Frazier, the right uh, right winger, 6 and 4. And then everyone else is just dotted around there. Not really done anything great. Joshua King, 8 goals and 5. 8 goals is decent. 5 assists, not so much. Um, so, yeah. Uh, tactic analysis then. So, goals. Uh, how many did you score? 84 and 66. That is poor, to say the least. Yeah. But like I've said, it has been tested before. I've seen tests done on this before, and it has done absolutely fantastic. So uh, you sometimes do have to take these tests with a with an open mind, knowing that it could do better, will do better by you controlling them. Uh, goal types then. So 54 play shots, 17 powerful shots, 0 kill shots, 11 headers, and 2 penalties. Goals assist was 20, came from set pieces. And the rest of them... All came from open play, through balls and crosses. Short passing actually came to uh, be the highest ones. Uh, square balls, medium passes, pretty short. Throw-ins, again, scored none from the long throws. Uh, but I've mentioned in another video that maybe it's a knock-on effect. So it's gone the long throws, headed, and then scored. So that way the throw-in would have been cancelled out as an assist. And, uh, yeah, there's goal locations and assist locations. Right then, so let's go to Bolton in League One, see how they actually did. Uh, all the way to here. Right, so they finished seventh, which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. All right, seventh placed for Bolton. 
right? They are predicted to come 23rd. They are predicted to come bottom of the table because they had a minus 12 points difference between the rest of the league at the start of the season. Um, so if you actually plus that 12 back on, so 12 plus 69, which is 17, 82, 81, sorry. So 81 is what you would have actually finished with if you never had the minus 12. And that would have secured second place, and that would have been promotion. That's like, that's our RC. Here. That's uh, is yeah. But we were promoted. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they did absolutely fantastic. All right, we're minus twelve points. You're not going to expect it. It would have been absolutely amazing if they did get it, or even into the playoffs, which they didn't. Uh, but you got a couple of players in the top threes. You got uh, Dodu, uh, twenty-two in third place on goals you got murphy average rating 7.26 came second crawford assist came top with 20 and uh, no other players after that uh, let's have a look at your competitions then so fa cup you got all the way to the third round got knocked out by milton Keynes. uh carabao cup second round got knocked out by lincoln and the leeson.com trophy uh, northern section third round knocked out by burton so uh yeah probably would have been Burton, would you expect it? They kind of got relegated. That's saying that you should have beat them. But oh well, uh, Bolton did amazing regardless. At the end of the day, they were predicted bottom of the table and to yeah, uh, yeah relegated. Uh, minus 12 points. Uh, definitely a hard team to be. If it is a um, save that you're going to start, Bolton would be great. To actually survive the first season with the minus 12 goal difference. And then to go on and get promoted and uh, get get yourself back up there. Uh, so let's have a look at the schedule then. Some of the results. So again, like the other teams, you're picking up some decent results, right? You got some five nil, five nil, two nil, two nil, threes, fives, fours. So yeah, you're definitely scoring some decent amount of goals here. Let's have a look at your squad. Not a lot of average ratings are all in green. You've only got two, four, six, eight players. Yeah, eight players that are actually did. Ex um all right uh, 7.2 is not bad by luke murphy 12 and 4 then you got uh crawford 14 and 22 that is all oh, i love that i think that's bob on that is awesome awesome for an attacking center 14 and 22 awesome then you got dodu 30 goals and four assists uh, emmanuel uh, 2 and 10 fleming 3 and 10 uh that Giorgio, Giorgio anthony Giorgio, uh, 6 and 11 buckley 8 and 10. Yeah, did pretty well. Pretty well indeed. So let's have a look at the analysis and goals. How many did you score? 101. That's all right. 101 is pretty good. Obviously, this is only in 50 matches. You probably played more. So, yeah, you probably scored more. Uh, so, yeah, 101 is not bad. Uh, 64, pretty high. But you are a team that is predicted bottom of the league, which means the quality of your team is obviously not that great. And uh, you're expected to concede probably more than anyone else. But uh, yeah, still, you came seventh. In my eyes, you got promoted. I've already said that. Um, so I'm playing in the championship next season. Not, but um, So 64, yeah, it's not it's not too bad uh, considering who you are. It would have been nice to be a bit lower line. But, uh, so goal types then. 51 play shots, 18 powerful shots, one curled shot, 24 headers. Uh, free kicks two and penalties five goal assists so 17 plus eight which is 25 yeah 25 i get it right yeah 25 25 came from set pieces and um, the rest of them all open play and crosses 13 here which is pretty high through ball 17 you expect the through balls especially when you've got attacking center uh, players because that's exactly what they do to get to the strikers um goal locations and goal uh, assist locations Next up is Portugal, SLB. How did they do? Came second, which is what they're predicted. I picked SLB to see if this tactic would allow them to clinch first place. And unfortunately, it didn't this time around. But uh, there's no reason why it won't do next time. Uh, 23 wins, 6 drawn, and 5 losses. So not a lot between first and second. There's only 6 points in it. Um, would have... Yeah. At the end of the day, these two teams are just far better than the rest. You can see that in the goal difference with 47, 43, and then it goes to 16, 18, 21. Um, you've got Pizzi, came second with the goals. 14 goals, came second place. And then Gabriel, first place with player of the matches for SLB, but no one else in the top threes, unfortunately. 
competitions though way there we go so you might have come second but you won three trophies so you still got the treble all right portuguese cup the portuguese league cup and the portuguese super cup you won all three unfortunately you got knocked out in the first knockout round by napoli in the champions so it would have been nice to get a little bit further there so in the portuguese cup then you uh, won on penalties against sporting in the league cup you beat braga on penalties and in the super cup you beat sporting 2-0 nice a schedule then so uh, yeah you're expected to obviously win a lot uh, against a lot of uh, teams because you're the second best team in the league right? according to the media. um so yeah some decent results so three nils three nils four six eight one eight goals there two one four nil how did you actually do against uh, fcp so fcp you beat him in the league, league cup semi-final you drew against him in the league here and then how did you do at the start of the season where are you fcp and you be yeah you beat them six nil such a shame that you're beating the team six nil and they they come above you okay let's have a look at your squad there we go look how many greens look how many average ratings are all broke the green and that, that's exactly what you want uh, you've got quite a lot of players in there as well so average rating let's start that out so then gabriel uh midfielder 18 goals and two assists surely he didn't play every game in the field yeah midfielder center deep lying playmaker 18 goals 18 goals that's absolutely incredible yeah, awesome. Uh, then after him, you got Pizzi, 17 and 18. Is your midfielder right? That's also incredible. Uh, an all-rounder, that's what I like to see for a winger, to get him chipping in with both and, and that being high. All right, when I mentioned earlier that nap tactics having high stats for wingers and stuff like that, well, yeah, that's definitely what I'm expecting, 17s and 18. That's awesome. Uh, Vinicius, 23 and 9. You've got down here, Rafa is your attacking centre, 13 and 6. And uh, all these players are all on loan. It's kind of confusing me. Uh, but yeah, everyone played amazing. Anyway, let's go to the tactic analysis. So you scored 98, which is... You want more. You have scored more. Because obviously it's only counting in the last 50 matches. Uh, you scored more in all competitions. Um, but in this case, looking at 50 matches, you probably expect more. Because you're the second best team in the league. And yeah. But... It's acceptable. 36 conceded is definitely acceptable. That's good. Uh, you, again, have conceded more because it's only counting at 50 games. Please remember that. Uh, so, goal types then. Uh, play shots, 47. Powerful shots, 23. Headers, 17. Free kicks, 2. And 9 penalties. Uh, goal assists, only uh, 17. Came from set pieces. And the rest of them were all open play. 19 crosses, 18 through balls. A couple of opposition mistakes. And uh, medium passes, throwing, one throwing goal. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Um, goal locations and assist locations. I've got a right, you know. Uh, finally, then in uh, Turkey, Fenerbahce. Uh, let's have a look at these. And so they came first, which is great because they're predicted second, obviously, to Galatasaray. And uh, yeah, you end up coming first. Absolutely had an amazing season. 23 wins, 10 draws, and only one loss on 90, um, 79 points. Sorry. And you've got quite a few players in the player stats. Um, you've got Mariki. Is that right? 17 goals, joint first, which isn't exactly massively high. Uh, but the Portuguese, obviously, league is a little bit less quality than the other predominant leagues in the uh, world. Spain. Uh, Germany, England, so on. Uh, so the players aren't absolutely amazing. So this is my best striker. That's my best striker. That's champions. That's championship striker or a low Premier League striker. Really? So 17 goals ain't too bad. Uh, Gustavo, second place, average rating 7.44. Uh, then you've got that Bellas. Bellas Oglu. Bellas Oglu. Look, we're in Turkey, guys. All right, I'm not going to know these names. Uh, Mariki and uh, if a player of the matches then always second and third and then your goalkeeper Bayinde 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 first place clean sheet is 20 
competitions then. So you won the Turkish Cup and the league. So you got the double with uh, Fenerbahce. So that's uh, that's all good. A schedule, some of the results. Obviously, you only lost one game. So there, are, there should technically be pretty good uh, scorelines going on here. Uh, so you got two nils. Uh, how did you do it against Galatasaray? So you lost in the cup final against them. So I don't really care about that. How did you do in the league? Uh, beat them first time around. 2-1. And second time around, where are we? Down here. Uh, one nil, and then the Turkish Cup final, one nil as well. So Galatasaray never got a game over you, which means that you lost against a poor team, which were seven. Yeah, he lost uh, one nil. It's a shame. Uh, but yeah, some decent results regardless. Four nil, five nil, fours, threes, fours. It's like more. It's it's more more commonly seeing threes, fours, and fives than it is seeing ones. Um, Pretty good, pretty good, but they are a great team and away for this league, so uh, expected to be high. Have a look at your squad. Tell you what, considering that you finished first, not a lot of players there in the top in the uh, green average rating, which is uh, strange. So anyway, your best player was Akichi. I'm going to say Akichi. Um, two and one. Only played one game though, so I shouldn't have even mentioned him. Gustavo, 39 games, 14 goals and three. Played a 7.48. Uh, Belazoglu, saying it, Belazoglu, 16 and 13 as a midfielder. Um, no doubt he was your deep line playmaker. Definitely, definitely was. Uh, Mariki, 24 and 2. Uh, any other pretty good ones? Cruz, your attacking centre, 8 and 7. It's all right. Not as great as the other players I've seen, though, in that role. So, hmm. Won the league at the end of the day, you would predicted second. It's always nice to take away the top spot from the um, from the media's favourite. So yeah, let's have a look at the tactic analysis then. So goals, how uh, many did you score? 106. So that's not too bad considering the kind of league you're in. Conceded 35. Again, not too bad. That's pretty good going. That's what you want to see on on concedes. Uh, 50 games. That's counting. Uh, in the league, only conceded 22 and scored 71. So there isn't actually a lot of uh, cup competitions for Turkey. Uh, so it's understandable that you're not going to score as much. There's not many competitions like the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Euro Cup and all that. And you've only got that one. So yeah, having only 106 is pretty decent going. Let's have a look at the goal types then. 53 play shots, powerful shots 19, curled shots 2, headers 16, 6 free kicks and 10 penalties. 10 uh, goal assists and you had 19 came from set pieces 19 goals came from set pieces the rest of them were all uh, in uh, gameplay so again not too bad not too bad at all uh, goal locations and assist locations and that is finally it that's all five teams uh, with the uh, Ozturk new tactic and uh, yeah hopefully he liked the video hopefully you guys liked the video the download will be in the description below. So give it a try, give it a shot, see how it goes. I do know that the last Ozturk tactic that I try, the um, Albatross, is amazing. It's amazing. I love it. All the people use it, they love it. Um, so yeah, try that out as well. That will be also in my channel if you want to watch that video. Uh, yeah, stay safe, guys. This is Tucker Jobs Gaming. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.